okay welcome everyone my name is Jant Malik and I am completing my this CS50 projects and this is the project zero now I want to demonstrate that I have completed all the requirements of the project so here is my folder structure in opened in the file explorer if the first requirement is your website must contain at least four different HTML pages and it should be possible to get from any page of the website to another page and you can use hyperlinks for that and for that I have complete I have created four pages which is about.html components.html index.html and table.html if I open the index.html page then you can see this top navigation bar allows me to get from any one page to the another page and you can find this navigation bar on every page here we go on all of the four pages I have this navigation bar this is the header of the website and now the next requirement is your website must include at least one list that is unordered or ordered or unordered list and at least one table at least one image so okay let's go ahead and see that I have one ordered list I have one unordered list over here and again I have an ordered list over there and now the next is ordered the list is complete now it's time for one table so in the student record I have a table of records for the student the, there is first name last name age marks and roll number and this data is completely fake I have created it on my own just for demonstration purposes and my page should contain at least one image so on the home page of my website I have included an image which is just an image from the lorem pixum website just a random image okay now the third requirement is your website must have at least one style sheet file now I would like to open my folder in the atom text editor and I would like to show you that I have a styles.css file and a custom dot scss file for sas or custom dot css file which is a compiled version of this scss file now if i go to my index dot html file you can see that i have linked at least one of the css files that is my my own created css files and the one bootstrap file your style sheet must use at least five different css properties okay let's see that if my style sheet uses five different CSS properties I have mm, you can see that there is a dot awesome class which contains more than at least five properties of CSS that is one two three four five six and seven my dot awesome class contains seven properties of the CSS so this five pro at least five properties requirement is totally met it should have at least five different type of CSS selectors okay now five different type of CSS selectors this is one descendant selector this is a child selector and this is another type of third selector and these are three selectors this is the class selector that is the fourth type of selector this is the ID selector which is the fifth type of selector and these are the tag selectors which is sixth type of selector in the case of CSS so this re requirement is also met you must use the ID selector at least one and a dot class selector at least one so in my page in my dot CSS styles dot CSS file I have one ID selector and a one dot one class selector so the fourth requirement is also completed successfully your style sheet must include at least one mobile responsive media query such that something about the styling changes for smaller screens okay I have also included a media query which is on the maximum width of 600 pixels that is my main the the tag that contains the ID of main will get a border of two pixels solid black and background color will change into silver okay so this is my web page if I just go ahead and resize this page on the below of 600 pixels the page turns its background into a silver color so this property is also met and next we have mm, 
you must use bootstrap for on your website okay my website contains this top header bar this is a tile this is tile with the help of bootstrap if i open the index.html file you can see that there is a header component or header tag in my class in my html file which contains a class of navbar navbar dash dark bg dash dark navbar dash expand dash sm these are all the classes of bootstrap and in the anchor link i have a navbar dash brand class which is also a bootstrap this complete header is com is created with the help of bootstrap and in my main tag i have a container class which is a bootstrap class margin top dash 5 this is also a bootstrap class and I have used this bootstrap classes in my HTML okay now there is a, at, there is a point that you should be taking advantage of at least one bootstrap component I have taken the bootstrap um, navbar component you I have used the bootstrap navbar component and I have used at least two bootstrap columns for layout purposes okay so if i open my website and if i go to about.html page you can find you can see that at the bottom of the page it 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 contains two columns of text which is the first column says text of column 1 text of column 2 and these are the columns created with the help of bootstrap you can see that they resize pro appropriately and if i open the source code for about.html file then you can see that at the last i have created a div tag with a class of row over here and then a div tag with a column of six i have created it given it a background color of light and second column a background color of white and there is a paragraph inside of the both of the columns note it's it's just within second column i have just written the text inside first column okay this is the requirement number I don't know what the, which number it is one two three four five six it's the sixth requirement is completed over here now the next requirement is your style sheets must use at least one SCSS variable at least one example of SCSS nesting and at least one use of scss inheritance okay so i will open my custom dot scss file i have created one variable i have created i have just used the template nesting you can see that what is this called the scss nesting is completed successfully at least one use of scss inheritance you can see that in case of nesting i have a div tag which is contains another div tag with a background color of orange and the color of white and next thing is that i should use at least one scss inheritance so i have created a template which is percentage heading and i have extended that heading moreover the scss allows you to you just create a simple class and extend that class so i can also do that i have changed that percentage symbol into a dot symbol which just simply means that it is a class which is which is with the name of heading then i have extended that heading class and if i go ahead and open my command prompt over here and compile that file custom dot scs css to the custom dot css you can see that it has compiled successfully which means this is also valid in scss okay now the next let's see what's the next requirement okay in the readme.md file include a short write-up describing your projects what contained in each file and optionally any other additional information that the staff should know about your project and i have also included that file information about my file so here is my readme.md file it contains the pages about my website and then this contains a table of contents that are on each present on each page okay so this is not looking nice over here if I go ahead and show you my submission I have already 
let me open the github.com slash github.com slash devjant malik so this is my github account and it contains a repository of hmm, let's see where it is is devjant malik a B C D. You can see that over if I go ahead and copy it online markdown editor. So this is how that table looks like. It contains the page and the description about that page. For example, my table page contains table of records about student data and my components page contains information about various HTML tags. So this is the page, page this is the table that I created in markdown language. And so this was all about my project zero. And I, now I would like to tell you about what this project actually is about. So you can see the home page it just list is just shows you basic uses of the tags such as headings and the ordered list unordered list if you go to components tag and starts reading it then you will know that the it is it describes various tags that can be used inside of html for example if i open the components.html file then it contains an article tag that is used to for distributing any piece of text that makes sense on some other website too okay then i have a paragraph tag inside of paragraph tag i have a strong tag strong tag l and you can see that i have used these html special characters or special symbols to represent for example and then uh, lt then a semicolon okay so this is ju this just means draw a less than symbol on the web page for example if you go ahead and see over there then you can see that on the left side of the strong tag i have a less than symbol and then a greater than symbol so this gt means a greater than symbol you can't use that these less than and equal to in html because these are the reserved characters for example this tag starts with the less than and ends with the greater than symbol so these are not allowed to be used directly so for filling that purpose or for fulfilling this writing this strong as a tag i have used these html annotations and i have also included this kbd which stands for keyboard if you want to write any keyboard shortcut then you can use the kbd tag over there for HTML then I have used this time tag which makes it easy for for web browser to understand what date or time is written in it okay so I have also included this HR tag this just simply means that you are now you will talk a totally a separate content or separate the, the content that you are just talking about will have a separate theme from over here the content below hr tag will not relate in any way to upper content it is just totally a different theme that you are talking about so this was all about my project zero thank you